Hello everybody, welcome to Blue Marble Science. A couple of days ago, Nathan Oakley and Witsit had a bit of a disagreement. Tell you what, let's listen to Flat Earth destroying itself. Warning, severe facial and monitor damage alert is in effect. Get out those oven mitts, push the monitors back out of punching range, and let's visit this dumpster fire and have some fun. Everything seemed to be going fine on Nathan's show until Witsit showed up, and this happened. Well, just to clarify, it's like the elastic velocity or elastic energy of gas is way, 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 way stronger. Wait, what? What the hell did he just say? This is not starting out good. Than electrostatics, it's just my point here. At least I can only speak for me, right? right? My point is the electrostatics is always at play uh, because everything that has any matter is electrostatic, and the Earth is also electrostatic and actually oh, negative, and that's negative. why we have lightning, et cetera, et cetera. So, hey, Woodson, I've been looking for some electrostatic ice cream. Think you could help me find that? Oh, by the way, how do you like my boat? Whoops, sorry, you can't see it. It's on the other side of the curve. You can't just say it's not part of the equation. That would be dishonest. But at the same time, you, almost impossible to validate. You don't you can't get outside Sorry, of here. Why is so. this? Why are you on about? Why is this electrostatic non sequitur? The fact that we have to constantly look at this stuff to experience it or describe it or have pens to write it down is totally non sequitur. Well, you know, it's just that, well, the Earth's negatively charged, and anything that falls to the Earth is electrostatic. Well, like a balloon? Yeah, the yeah, balloon. Less Does that fall to the ground, Witsit? Well, it depends on what's in the balloon, doesn't it, Nathan? Like these that just have air in them are laying on the ground, aren't they? And so are these. But you know, if you fill them full of helium, they'll float up in the air. And you know they float up in the air for the same reason that they fall to the ground. You know what that is? Gravity! No, of course not. Well then shut up! You dumb fuck! Does not mean there's you not a natural bias though? A bias? What, for the balloon? How many times do you want to do this? Are you all morons? <laughs> uh, <add mom. laughs> the... Sorry, are you a moron? Is the balloon going down, Witsit? Yes, we are. Is the balloon uh, I wouldn't... biased downwards? Is it, are you serious, bro? This is how you're gonna Shut run up, Nathan. I'm talking to Witsit. Well, this is, well, what I'm saying is, you, you see, the bias is so incredibly weak that the... So it's not a bias down! What bias? The downward one the balloon's not experiencing. Third time, Witsit. Yeah, they're right. The gas isn't going to go down. Gas. So there is not a downward bias. <laughs> well, you would. No, not well. There's no downward bias, you clown. You've just admitted it. Why are you in cognitive dissonance over this, Witsit? Your hand wave dismissing the electrostatics, dude. That's... Uh, what the non sequitur fallacy? You introduced that I immediately demolished as a non sequitur fallacy. Wait, hey, how's it non sequitur? I thought that was the so whole So the balloon goes like, down! The Sorry, the electrostatics make the balloon go down, or is this non sequitur? The electrostatics are way weaker, right? So are they making the balloon go down? Are you deaf? No, the balloon... The bl so non sequitur, then! Nathan, you're gonna give yourself an answer. Nathan, shut up, I'm not gonna ask you again. I'm gonna absolutely <laughs> teabag Witsit for his dumb fuckery. So this electrostatic is not giving the balloon a downward bias, is it? You know, at this point, I have absolutely no idea who to root for. Uh, no. No! That's right, Witsit, you clown! So what are you babbling about? Because once again, the uh, you, you just whistle past this. You just stutter for me like the rest of the fundies with their belief in gravity. There is not a downward bias, clown! Okay, but yeah. Okay! Now enjoy the taste of my nuts, you flat earth fundy! Just as a side note, Nathan, if you ever find your testicles in the mouth of your opponent, you're about to lose more than the argument. There's no downward bias! Dismissing your hand. Dismiss what? The electrostatics that make the balloon go down? You're gonna do it third time in a row, you circle jerking fundy! Claimed it made it go down! It doesn't go down, you idiot! 
Are you thick? One claimed it did. That's a strong... Oh, right. I'm claiming a downward bias of the balloon and no one's claiming it. You are. You stuttering, double speaking, cognitive dissonance laden fundy. If matters inherent... Every compilation of matters inherently electrostatic discussion. And that's got anything to do with a balloon going down? Fourth time circle jerking this shit in a row? I never said the balloon went down. It doesn't go down! Are you dumb? It does, dude. Oh, it does? Oh, balloons go down, go boom, boom with a single vector of downward, do they? Uh. Oh, there's a bias, all right, Nathan. It's the same bias that holds the gas in this open pipe. It's the same bias that holds our atmosphere in place and produces the atmospheric pressure gradient. We even have a name for it. We call it... Gravity, you fucking retard! Gravity! Have you ever heard of fucking gravity? Gravity! Gravity! No, the balloon- No, that's right, you unbelievable buffoon! They do not have a bias down, regardless of your non-sequitur shite about electrostatic non-forces. Hello, not This goes on for about another down. ten minutes, not with these two asshats trying to out-stupid each other. But I don't think we need to hear any more. Hey, thanks for watching. And remember, when we say how stupid can you be, that isn't a challenge. That's a question. Hey, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. There's a link to the Patreon and the PayPal. And I guess we'll catch you guys on the next one.